Well, lads, how are you? I've the answer to everything. No problems. <laughs> I'd be able to give you absolutely all the advice you need to beat anybody. If you believe that, we're off to the wrong start. But anyway, <laughs> congrats on being here. That's the most important thing. Great that you've all survived in the, in the, in the camp, and uh, I think, think it's a great opportunity, but I don't think you should get wound up too much about it, and you shouldn't fear it. You should just actually embrace it and enjoy it. What's the most important thing for any sportsman? Attitude. 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 How many times we watch a game of football, soccer, rugby, hurling, football, where a fella is playing really well and he's a stinking attitude and he infects the rest of the team, okay? And you look at any match you like and then argue with referees all day long. Never saw a fella change a decision in my life and I'm 114. Never saw a fella change <laughs> in my life a decision. So what is that about? That's a negative attitude which actually destroys teams, okay? Now, the next thing that I would say is visualize, and that visualize is a great word, and it's not some kind of a cliche. It's absolutely true. You need to see yourself playing on that field, okay? See what you're good at. You're good at, don't concentrate, and maybe this happens, maybe that happens, it might go bad. Next ball is what we used to say. Next ball, next ball, and we had it as a mantra, a mantra all the time. Next ball, next ball. Everybody lives in the moments, in moments. We're living in moments, and we're living in moments now. I go up there and I get a goal, and I bang it into the back of the net, and my hair stands up in the back of my neck, a great goal. Now, I need to forget that instantly, okay? Instantly, because the next ball could come in, I'd miss it, because I'm not in the moment. The next thing is I make a mistake on the field and I start worrying about it. What happens next? I make another mistake, don't I? So play in the moment. Just play in that moment. The small things win matches. And what you should do as well, in my view, is look, do what you're best at. Don't try to over-elaborate. If you're not really great at something, don't try and do it. I think that's where the teamwork is going to come for you guys. Because let's be honest with you, you're a disparate group coming from all over the place. So therefore, you're not going to be the same as fellas playing from the parish together all the time. But you can create that atmosphere if you want to do well and if you want everybody else to do well as well. That makes sense? Who was I to be a coach? I came from a junior club, I can tell you. Uh, when I was announced in Wexford, uh, do you think they had a big bonfire and said, Jesus, that's fantastic. They're saying, what in the name of Jesus does he know about hurling? You, like when you won it in 96, you would have had the Clare, so I'd be a Clare man in 95, 97. How did you instill, we'll say, a belief in Wexford? There would have been like people from the outside would have said, Wexford probably weren't at the high table of hurling at the time. How do you instill in the boys and what I'm saying is something that we could take that we have belief in ourselves that we're every bit as good because I've seen the boys playing, I've played with them. We are every bit as good as them but they just need to believe in themselves. Is there anything in particular you did with the Wexford boys to say we are good enough to be here competing? Hard work. Discipline. Discipline. We never fouled once inside the halfway line in the second half in the All-Ireland final. Neither did we do it in the Leinster final. So we concentrated on discipline. So we've got to get our priorities right. The priority for us is to be the best we can be. We're not the best team in Ireland. We know we're not going to be the best team in Ireland individually. But we could be the best team in Ireland if we did lots of bits of bits to pieces. But I'm just saying to you, I don't like dirty play. I love to win the right way. I love to feel I've won the right way. Not by cheating, not by doing something that's underhand, not by knocking a player out because you want to get rid of him. Bring him on, put him on the field. We're either good enough or we're not. Underdogs, it boards the Greenfields Digital Sports Technology, creators of the Smarchlitter.